G'day and welcome to the show. Well, this week we're fishing in the Pertec Fishing Challenge. We're up at Lake Macquarie and with John Martin, of course, guesty. And have a look at this cracking flathead John's just caught. We've got lots of action on the show. Let's check it out. Our Pertec team is also working double time on Taylor. All right, the boys are on fire. <laughs> And we get into our other comp target species, whiting. Oh. There's more elbow slapping whiting on the surf beach. The prize catch. And I whistle up an eagle. When you see this many fishermen all wearing the same shirt, you know there's a comp on. Today it's the mighty Pertec Challenge and we're out in the thick of it on beautifully calm Lake Macquarie. By we, I mean good old Captain Pertec and myself and this year's prize winning guests. That's prize winner John and his mate Martin, both keen fishos from Sydney. Hundreds of other keen fishos are all over the lake. They're all in high spirits for the event. They go good, don't they, on that light here? Awesome fun all chasing the local target species of whiting, tailor and flathead. And not all from boats either. And it's good to see so many girls joining in to support the cause of prostate cancer. We're well equipped with a brand new Evinrood HO. And of course a hummingbird sounder. But we don't really need either for our first session, which is on sand flats so shallow and in water so clear that we can see the fish cruising so close you feel you could touch them. And it doesn't take long for our guests to get cracking. Yep. Very nice. I'll tell you what, this is going to be good. He called it early too. All those sharp hooks. They're using these little Gamakatsu size fours. Super sharp. Yeah, he's 30 odd. Yep, slide that net in. So it's light tackle. Oh, like yeah, that well done. Well done, buddy. Hey, good fish too. So he's one of the targets for fish in uh, this year's Pertec Fishing Challenge. OK, well, for whiting, very light gear. We've got a uh, Revolution Inshore series. Now this is two to five kilos. Super light for that long cast and playing out a fish as a rod tip bends real easy. And we've got two pound line on the little Shimano, a little twin power, 1000 FB. Super drag, and that's what you want with these guys. You want to be able to play them out. Lots of whiting, it's just incredible here. But the only way to catch them when you can see them this clearly is by using super light line. Get another one there, buddy. And uh, that's the go. Starting to run now. With such super light tackle, John needs a really delicate touch here. It's like fishing with fine cotton. It also means a landing net is absolutely essential. Try lifting this fish on this line and you'd be gone a million. Oh yeah, another fish. We need a big 40, I reckon, if we're, if we're gonna have a chance. Yeah, just a little bloke. You can see the way the mouth is right down on the bottom, and that's what they're doing. They're just wafting up worms, yabbies, anything that basically lives down in that sand. They're a lovely fish. Good stuff, boys. Oh, surely I've caught one now. You can see, how important it is to have a nice light rod with plenty of bend in the tip. The important thing is the drag system on these reels, really crucial. It means it's not gonna break that two pound line we're using. He's still out a bit, this guy. We'll see how big he is. Where are we looking? Oh, it's a brim, that's why. It's always brim. got a bit of weight. If I try to lift him aboard, I'll probably snap the line. Really important to to net these fish. Beautiful brim. And whilst we're up here catching whiting, the brim are cruising in amongst all of this as well. What a day, hey? Fantastic day fishing. 34, 35. Yes, nice one. Yeah, that's good. They're going up in size. Around that 25 to 30. He's all right. That's a nice <laughs> fish, mate. Are you going to let him go? Yeah, of course. Straight back in the drink. Straight back into the esky. Straight back into the esky. No way. <laughs> You're terrible. No way. You'll be going back in the drink. Really? Yeah. Which drink though? Straight into the drink. It's the Pertec Fishing Challenge is catch and release. So we'll snip that off. Yes. Watch him swim away. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
you go. You did let him go. Yeah, of course I'm letting go. Catch and release. Right to get a feed on some days, but today's catch and release. <laughs> the first one I've ever seen him let go. That's what we like to hear. And the man of the moment's on again. Ooh, that's good. Very good. This is a good fish. It certainly is. Let's hope it's a whiting. Ah, it's a whiting, mate. It's sort of running like a whiting, isn't it? Those big head shakes. Sitting in the car and then. Pretty nice one. Is it a brilliant? Yeah. But he's just going a little bit too hard for a whiting, wasn't he? I was hoping it ah. might have been a big one. But... Good work, Esty. They're real scavengers, aren't they? They, uh, they patrol the flats and on the edges and they basically eat just about anything. And, uh, yeah, we'll let this bloke go. Yeah, mate. Beautiful. Cruise off the flats. Geez, they blend in well, don't they? Yeah, such a healthy system. And from here on, it gets bigger and better. All coming up. If you've got better things to do than towing your boat thousands of kilometres to go fishing, well, do what I do and Quintrex do and see the guys at Apenica Logistics. They're Australia's interstate boat and jet ski transport experts. And they're also the people to talk to for transporting your car, caravan, or any kind of machinery. Remember the name, Openica Logistics, and you can relax while they do the big drive for you. This is Laura. When I was your age, I could not have cooked a dish to that quality. Laura could redefine the way we cook Italian. I'm speechless. <laughs> And she's only 18. New MasterChef Australia premieres Monday, May 5. The Nowra Caravan Camping and Outdoor Living Show rolls into the Shoalhaven Archer Racecourse for three days only. And there's something for absolutely everybody. Caravans, campers, motorhomes, boating, fishing, motorbikes, camping gear, four-wheel drive accessories and gadgets galore. Stacks of leading brands all on display with red-hot show-only specials. Plus Australia's largest outdoor fishing demo. You no longer need to go to the Big Smoke for a great show. Friday the 9th to Sunday the 11th of May. See you there. For a limited time, you could win a holiday staying at the beautiful Natanya Resort right on Queensland's iconic Noosa Beach. Simply buy a Revitive from these leading retailers and register your warranty to enter. Revive your day and escape to Noosa with Revitive. To help celebrate our 50 years, Masterton Homes is saying yes to a fabulous selection of bonus features and inclusions when you say yes to your new Masterton home. See it all at masterton.com.au. Some conditions apply. Men's Sherpa Coats, $20. Up to 450 GSM fleece provides all adventure men with extra warmth. Four external pockets, including two button-up patch pockets. Reduced to $20. Men's Sherpa Coats, $20. Up to 450 GSM fleece provides all adventure men with extra warmth. Four external pockets, including two button-up patch pockets. Reduced to $20. It's Steve, again. Mate, turn the TV on. Line up a great weekend at BCF with a massive 25% off all fishing gear for Club BCF members. That's all rods, reels and combos, all bait, lures and tackle and all nets, fishing tools and storage. Sale starts Saturday, must end Sunday. BCF, this is living. G'day! Most of us find out about price rises when they turn up in the mail. Ryan Build, give you the heads up. The steel prices will go up on May 30. Keep money in your pocket. Order your new Randall Shed now and beat this year's steel price rise. Get in before May 30. Order your quality Aussie-made Randbuild Shed. Beat the price rise and keep money in your pocket. Randbuild. Better sheds, bigger choice. Join me with Paolo Nettini, Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone and Jamie Foxx. New Graham Norton, 9.30 Sunday. All here on 10. Pertec Kid and I are turning our backs on the lake and heading out to the ocean. 
and we've barely stuck our noses out before we've got a hookup. Right. We're going to do a little bit of uh, wash fishing today. We are driving along and I quickly saw some flashes under the water. Guess he saw them on top of the water and we went, right, Benito. Actually, it's a frigate, mate. It's been belted by something. A lot of great whites up this way. I reckon we'll keep him for bait. He's looking a bit sad anyway. The aim today is to get down the coast and have a have a cast along here and work all the rock ledges. And tonight we're going to try for a dewy. And this will be a great bait. Absolute beauty. But that's all ahead of us. For now, before we hit the wash impact zone, we've got some tackle to attend to. These are tiny little Gamakatsu 1Os. As you can see, very little hook, but very powerful, very strong, super sharp. All right. I like to use a float when we're fishing around these stretches, and basically the bait will sit on there, a prawn or a piece of bread. There's enough weight there to really give it a nice long cast in, and then what's going to happen is the float's going to work all the way up to these stoppers. Go down about um, six foot first up, and I've got a longer rod. I've got one of these quick fire twos. Now this is a 5 to 10 kilo outfit, nice long rod, and I've got some 20 pound Schneider line on today, and that's the braided line onto a 15 pound mono trace, and that's the rig. It's one of these little Kasner 4000 FA reels from Shimano. And uh, this little combination, well, you can get that at your local Anaconda store, and it's perfect for this sort of wash fishing. The long rod will enable me to get a nice long cast and really put a lot of hurt on the drummer to bring them out our way. Now, uh, they're a very strong fish, the drummer, but pulling them from the washes from the boat is a lot easier than actually trying to pull them from the, the, the rocks themselves. I wouldn't be coming anywhere near a shore like this if I didn't have hummingbird precision to tell me where the danger is and the reliability of an Evinrude E-Tech to power me out of it. So right now I can cast with confidence. Although Captain Pertex's first touch is Rubbish. not one to inspire much confidence. Something brown and horrible. <laughs> brown and horrible. Yeah. They're pretty patent fish though, aren't they? Yeah, really? You think so? <laughs> hey, that's not really what I'm pretty, after. Really pretty. Yeah, really good on you. But I have a feeling I'll come up with a happier result. Yeah, on the something silver. Little oh, Trevor Valley, awesome. There you go. It's on the net, or? Oh, should be able to get him in. There we go. <laughs> well, that was a bit unexpected. Very unexpected, but a nice little catch. Very good, really. Whack that uh, bait down pretty hard. And they've got very soft mouths. The little hooks just clung on. Little gamakatsu. Let it go, mate. There we go. Beautiful little trevally. Nice way to start. Slide him in. You got him? Here we go. How's it feeling, mate? Another trevally. Another right? trevally. It was exactly like a Trevally. Well, that was exactly yeah, like a Yeah, it's his uh, brother. Trevally. There well we done. go. Good stuff. Awesome. There you go, buddy. The wash is not just a happy hunting ground for tackle-busting rock dwellers. The surface surge hides a wealth of smaller schooling fish, which are the perfect bait for big mulloway. And bread is the burly and bait to get them. some mullet just up right up close to the edge. So I'll just put a little bread bait on and a long shank hook and that's going to be a good dew, dew fish or mulloway bait for tonight. That brim turns out to be as good as the wash fishing would get today. So we move around the rocks into more sheltered waters where the hummingbird shows that we're sitting right on top Squid Central Station. So a change of rig to squid jigs is the new order of the afternoon. I make no 
nice bait, don't they, the old squid? Well done. Squirt all that ink out there, old mate. Oh, look at that big one behind him. Look at that, hey? Ah! Ink! Look at the ink! Oh, it's just coming in it. No, it's just coming. Oh! Oh! Look at It's quite a big squid. What depth we got, Guesty? Um, oh, there he is. You got him? Seven and a half metres. You on the bait or what? Yeah, and I was just about to say. You can see that. Look at that. Big pulsing action there. Here's all the bait fish. And I've marked it on the sounder here and using electronics, showing where the bait is, marking your GPS. Just makes it so easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big pulsation trying to get away. Look at that. Here we go. Wow. A little bit of working back to the boat. You on the net, mate? Uh, oh, better to be safe, I suppose. Yep. Oh, he's a nice one too, mate. Yeah, no, good size, oh, mate. Don't point his head up this way. Oh, you, you do that on purpose. Oh, there it all goes. <laughs> he does that. That's it. And oh, look at that one go, E2. Woo! Oh, yeah. I'll hand you that net, mate. Grab hold of that. On you. Oh, he's, oh that. he's dropped it, has he? Now, the great thing about squid is that we can either eat them up for dinner, because they're absolutely beautiful as calamari, or we can use them as live baits or dead baits. And either way, they're both fantastic uh, ways to catch some really big predators. And tonight we're going to uh, sit in the river and see if we can catch ourselves a big mulloway. And so we've got some mullet for bait, and we've got these beautiful squid that we're catching right now. And fingers crossed, we might pick up a big fish. If we don't, you can bet these guys will be straight on the barbie. So much later in the day, long after the sun has set and the moon has started to rise, after the changing of the fisho's guard, we set out again feeling well prepared. So the idea is to set your, your rods and your baits at all different levels, just waiting for a big mulloway. But that also takes luck. And is it on the Pertec Kids' side tonight? Yes. What I got there, is it? Oh. Big Ray. Yeah. Big Ray or a... Ah. It's a big Ray or a Port Jackson shark. It's going to be involve a knife somewhere. Mm. We've got a knife and some pliers. He's a lump. You could just about get that. Uh, you. Some... You could just about get that hook out of there. They got some horrific spines on them, but Port Jacksons. Have they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big spikes. Actually, he's lost his. Should have a big spike right on his dorsal. He hasn't okay. got it. There we go. Woo. And it's squid on the barbie tonight for sure. Sinker in the got hook. It, got everything back. Nautilus Marine, your boat insurance specialist. Don't leave the boat ramp without them. If you're like me and you live in Sydney and you've got nowhere to store your boat, visit the guys at High and Dry Storage Solutions. They've got plenty of space under cover for your boat, your car, even your caravan. For storage and protection, that's exactly what it says. You can't go past the great facilities and service at High and Dry Kernel. So if you're in need of storage for your car, your boat or your caravan, check them out online at highanddrystorage.com.au. The youth unemployment rate is higher than ever, but this isn't a case of kids being lazy. Cusey heads out to discover what it's really like to be long-term unemployed and what solutions are there for this jobless generation. And it's an age-old debate, how much homework should your kids be doing? Plus Don Honey, Craig McLaughlin and Puberty Blues' Brenna Harding all live in the studio. Plus 24's Yvonne Strahovski and Kate Langbrook is our guest co-host for the entire week. It's news delivered differently next week on The Project. Well, when I found out I was pregnant, I thought it was time to quit. You know, I wanted to live longer, a longer life for my children. And hopefully I've quit smoking for life. To quit for new life, talk to your midwife. Heartburn's such a pain. The problem with my antacid is that after a while, the pain comes back. 
Some antacids provide relief, but wear off too fast. Gaviscon works differently. It works fast, soothing heartburn in just four minutes, and its physical barrier gives relief for up to four hours. In a clinical study, three out of four people enjoyed longer-lasting relief with Gaviscon versus the antacid tested. Be heartburn-free for longer with Gaviscon and live well. There are many things you can do to save energy and money around your home. Like rather than always hand washing, using a dishwasher instead. A Bosch Active Water dishwasher uses up to 60% less energy and six times less water than hand washing, saving you money on utility bills. Plus together with Finish Quantum, you'll get an unbeatable shine. And if you buy a Bosch now, you'll get six months free finish and the chance to win an energy efficient car. Bosch, invented for life. My kids just go crazy at Easter. Chalky stains just don't come out with plain detergent, so I soak in Vanish before washing. Well, I'm a cereal spiller. For coffee stains, washing powder just isn't enough. So I make a paste for Vanish, then give it a wash. Too easy. It's vanished. Vanish removes stains that regular detergent alone can't. Visit the Tip Exchange to share your tips this Easter. Sharing stuff is great, but you can't survive on funny videos alone. So share some KFC hot rods. Spicy, crunchy chicken with a zesty lime aioli. Grab two for $2.95 today. Grooming certain areas can be a problem. Razor blades can cut you, and there are places scissors definitely don't belong. Introducing Finishing Touch Diamond for her and Micro Touch Max for him. Precision grooming that gets as close as a blade, yet safe for those more delicate areas. The sleek design gives you perfect control. Ear hair, away. Nose hair, no more. Sideburns, just look at this guy. Moustache and bushy beard, neat and clean and even. Trim a little or remove it all. Micro Touch Max and Finishing Touch Diamond available at these leading retailers. We first met Can-Am driving farmer Nathan Kerrin on his sheep and canola property southwest of Dubbo, way back in the first episode of this series of Escape with ET. How are you doing? Yeah, good to see you, mate. Good, good to see you. See you. Hey, how are you? Yeah, how are you going, Yeah, good thing. Now here, he's back again in the last episode, this time on his own escape trip to the coast and still with a Can-Am. Our own Can-Am kid is introducing Nathan to some cross-country driving coastal style. What do you think about these things on the beach? Oh, I love it. Yeah, no, it's awesome. <laughs> We've got one at home that we use for, yeah, day-to-day -day work, and, yeah, I've never even thought about bringing it down here, but no, it's awesome. They're pretty handy things, and I know on the on the land, of course, they're just a work implement for you guys. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing that when we're out there, and, and the, as I said before, that canola was so high, and uh, the commander you got, that's an 800, but it's that yellow one, so yeah. it basically disappeared. You and ET were just heading <laughs> off through the paddocks. And uh, the safety aspect of ATVs on the farm has been a big change too, I think, because once upon a time when you grew up, it was all quad bikes, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. No. Oh, the comfort's probably the most. Like, you can spend a day mustering and, and get off and be fine, whereas before you wouldn't want to go back near a motorbike. you got the roll cage there, two seats, seat belt, bit of side netting, and I know in the farming situation, we tend to sort of rush around, forget about the yep. safety, but it's pretty easy. It's all there, it's nice and handy, yep. and it's easy to use, isn't it? And now it's handy to catch up with Nathan's partner, Mel, for an introduction hey, to the Can-Am Kids' hey, second hey, favourite yeah. beach activity. Hey. I reckon you've pulled up. This is actually not a bad spot just here where this gutter's running out. Bit of a sandbag. Hopefully a few whiting. Yeah, there'll be da there's always dart on the beach. You've fished for worms before? Right? Yeah, yeah. So you've yeah. got earthworms you use for catching yellow yeah. belly out west? Yeah. These things, they've got bi great big teeth. They live down in the sand. Half of these teeth are going to come out. They'll, they'll nip you, but um, you use a bit of uh, bit of fresh fish and you work it around on the low tide around the shallow sand there and they come up out of the sand and it's a bit of a technique. I'm not very good at it. I'm, I'm happy to, yeah. not happy to say that. I've got to practice a bit more but the guys that are good at it will just catch hundreds of the things. That um, This would be one of the staple diets of any of the fish moving up and down the beach. Yep. That didn't pay long. What do you got mate? Oh it's the dark. Razor sharp spikes down underneath here. Oh, the whiting, beautiful. That's the go, mate. <laughs> yeah, nice little sand whiting. Fantastic eating fish. It's probably just, it'd be, it'd be a legal fish, but we'll um, we'll get him back in the water. Great eating fish. Yeah, right. The, eh? old, the old whiting. Oi! Go! Oh, I don't really. There you go. <laughs> 
So what the go is, put your hand up higher here. That's it. There you go. Now you've got some leverage. Look at that rod tip go. So you do much fishing, Mel? No, I've never been fishing. Never been fishing, so this could be Mel's first fish ever. Probably not a bad fish. Oh, it's a nice whiting. Well done. Oh dear, I tell you what, that's bragging rights because I saw the one Nathan caught before and that one's way bigger than the one Nathan got. So that's a, that's a beauty, that one. Great. Yeah. And got, got him. Got him. <laughs> that's the go. It's nice fishing in bare feet, yeah, isn't it? Is, Standing yeah. on the, on the cool sand. <laughs> yeah, a little dark. There he is. And. <laughs> Wind it in, you're not getting, now put your hand back up there again so you can, that's it, wind it back in. You're not getting away with that, that was the worst cast ever. Bit of a bite, there you go, and set the hook. You got him? No, oh, he's got it. Just a bit of a, oh no, he's there, and go, woo! Got him. I've got to tell you, for someone who's never been fishing before, <laughs> Mel, you're not going too bad. Yeah, well Nathan's taken me out in the, in the creek, in the boat. Yep. Um, but every you know, time I cast out, I throw it into a tree or. Oh, that's... oh, what do you got this time? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's fighting pretty well. It's having a bit of a charge around. Oh, I don't know. Can't quite see there at the moment. I think it might be a whiting. We're hoping. Oh, it is. Nice whiting. Woo! All right, that's a beauty. Wow, that is a cracker. That's a good beach whiting. <laughs> that is an absolute beauty. I think that might have be bigger than the last one. Yeah, that's bigger than the last one. Just thought you should come and have a look at the lady who hasn't done any fishing and see what you're supposed to be catching. Remember I said elbow slappers before? That's an elbow slapper. That is the prize catch. If you're beach fishing, that's what you want. A big whiting like that. That is an absolute beauty. Well done. And as Mel leaves the fishing to the boys, Got him, got him. Woo! That's a good bite, mate. Yeah, for sure. What do you reckon? Oh, another dart. There's a few in here. <laughs> got, we've got to beat Mel's whiting, mate. <laughs> oh, I got him on too, mate. Double hookup. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, that's more like it. Mel shouldn't have put that rod down, yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> Looking for what you need to make your escape? Look at leisuresales.com.au, the only website dedicated to buying and selling all your leisure items. From a boat to a beach brolly, buy and sell at leisuresales.com.au. You know, there's only one thing better than getting away on a great fishing trip, and that's getting away in complete comfort. And that's why I never leave home without packing my Coleman camping gear. From quick and easy tents for protection from the elements, to campsite and cooking accessories, to the amazing CPX lighting systems, Coleman have been keeping me comfortable right from my first TV fishing trip. And so before you head outdoors, do what I do and pack the Coleman comfort. The comedy of V to be here is on 10. I'm Crocodile Dunphy. With the episode the whole country's been waiting for. Modern Family in Australia. Get this Aussie party started. Hey, your lips are huge. I think you're allergic to that bejemite. Plus, find out what really happened down under in a behind-the-scenes special. It's really exciting to see all the fans. We do know how to get our party on. And the premiere of America's favourite new comedy, The Millers. I'm in the shower. 10 Super Comedy Sunday from 6 o'clock. Right now, take 30% off everything at the plush Easter sale with the Snuggle Swivel, only 993. Studio 3-seater, 2,999. Monash Modular, 4,899. And the Zara 4-seater, only 2,099. Plus, Australia's best 10-year total warranty, covering the whole sofa, not just the frame. But hurry, because it must end Sunday. Plush. Think sofas. Here are some smart ideas from Harpic. For a perfectly clean toilet, 
nothing beats Harpic White and Shine. Its scientific formula with baking soda and the power of bleach delivers unbeatable clean and dazzling shine. And to keep your toilet fresh between cleans, use Harpic Hygienic Plus. The cageless block has better coverage and a continuous fresh scent that lasts. Harpic White and Shine and Hygienic Plus. Smart ideas for you. It's the best thing ever at Parenthood. I can't imagine life without them. Every spare second seems to be swallowed up by something. I like to cook with the kids as much as possible. You have to be mindful of hygiene when you're cooking with meat. The Dettol No Touch is great because it helps avoid cross-contamination in the cooking process. I trust Dettol. We've ticked the hygiene box. We can't afford to get unwell. We don't have the time. <laughs> it's the little things we do that make up our mission for health. From the smallest home renovation projects to full makeovers. Smith & Sons are your quality builders, renovation specialists. Transforming your home into the perfect environment for those you love. Make the smart move. Call Smith & Sons today. Nothing compares to the look and feel of freshly laid flooring. Tony D'Amelio Flooring handles an extensive range of carpets and a large variety of hardwood flooring. Visit Tony D'Amelio Flooring showroom today at 4th Avenue, Unandera. Oh, I love being a mum. I love it. You've entered into something that you have no idea about and the baby doesn't come with a manual, unfortunately. The first time I used Nurofen is when Olivia was three months old and she had a fever. Nurofen lasts a long time, which in the middle of the night is exactly what you want. The thing I love about Nurofen is the plastic syringy thingy, which makes it really easy to give to him. I would hands down recommend Nurofen for children to all my friends. Discover why mums are choosing Nurofen for children. For a limited time, you could win a holiday staying at the beautiful Natanya Resort right on Queensland's iconic Noosa Beach. Simply buy a Revitive from these leading retailers and register your warranty to enter. Revive your day and escape to Noosa with Revitive. Why wait when you can rent it today? iPhones, bridges, furniture, computers, gaming, washing machines, you name it, we rent it. Local Appliance Rentals is the quickest and easiest way to get what you want today. Visit us at localappliancerentals.com.au I'm hitting my local Anaconda store to prepare for some evening fishing with a young, keen bloke named Hans. And I start at the sharp end with an amazing selection of jigs and hooks. Oh, wow, they've got so many different brands of braid here, and they're all top quality. We've got Berkeley Fireline, we've got the Fins, and this stuff's fantastic, and the Power Pro. Now, over to the rods. Uh, we might even need a tackle box. We might check out a tackle box for this all to fit in. And I can tell you now, Anaconda have a huge range of tackle boxes. One of my favourite brands is Plano. Now they have a huge range from the Pro Series all the way through to this little fella here. This is an angled storage system. Ah, there we go, beautiful. Nice big compartment up on the top. But when you're looking to go fishing with kids, you need a nice light combination. Now this one here, is perfect. It's one of the, the Ripper series. A beautiful little Shimano combo. The quality of Shimano rods and reels is at the highest level. And this is a beautiful lightweight combo. Perfect for catching flathead, trevally, and uh, those smaller species that, that live along the coastal shores. Well, I've got my rod and reel and a box of tackle. Time to go fishing with the kids. And we're going fishing in the best possible way with smooth Evinrude E-Tech power and fuel efficiency and the roominess of a Quintrex top ender. The most awesome estuary combo on the water. I just love the rugged simplicity of this classic rig for this kind of fishing. And it looks like young Hans is equally comfortable with it as we race towards the sunset and some classic river system sandbanks. Han's first job is to rig really light for some bait fish. And my job is to help him along with a bit of advice on technique. Oh, I just jig it, just depends. Some, see how they're up on the top? Just keep it up on the top, on the surface. We're just using a, one of the little jigs at the moment, trying to catch some of the pilchards. They've just all appeared, and just about everything eats pilchards. And it's advice that gets results. Just move back a step. Uh, just then I was bringing a soft plastic back to the boat. I was sort of trying to work out maybe there's some fish underneath and a salmon came flying up behind my lure. So you never know, we could, uh, could be in for some luck. 
But before catching fish, we get a unique opportunity to catch some other local wildlife on camera. Here they come, here they come, you ready? Three of them now. There's one there, one there. Let's see if I'm good. Now that was such a stunning moment, it's worth watching again on Eagle Cam Action Replay. Now back to the business we came out here for. Han is a very good fisher. He's caught many, many different styles of fish from uh, kingies all the way right through to brim and whiting. So uh, he knows what he's doing. He's rigging up down the back there. He's got a lovely, uh, a lovely size four gamakatsu long shank hook and uh, just a little ball sinker, about yay big, which will be enough to just sort of plant the bait out there and just leave the, the four pound line just sort of swinging in the breeze. We'll use three and four pound line up here very light stuff, but uh, there's not too many obstructions to, to burn you off or, or break you off. So hopefully hook up, play them nice and, uh, and long. That's the plan. Just keep the pressure on him, we've got plenty of time. <laughs> I don't like to stay stingray. A, a crab, yeah. he's tangled up in your line. No, keep him on. And the crab. No, and, a cr and a crab, you got him? Oh, he's gone, is he? Double whammy. And he got one. Double whammy. That was pretty good. Rise I'll tell you what. Stayed on. I can fight this line off. The size on the end of that. That, that, uh, that sort of weight. Big one. It's about the size of him. <laughs> and got him on this, yeah, pretty cool little outfit. Little Shimano combo. Straight from Anaconda. <laughs> He's gone. What have you got there? Hey, that's a better fish. Look at that. Not too bad, mate. <laughs> Not too bad at all. They're getting bigger. Anyway, we'll put him back in. See you later, buddy. Tell your mama and papa. Oh, this will be a good way to end the day. Ooh. Flatty. Ha <laughs> ha, little flatty. Lift him up. Beautiful. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah, it's a nice healthy system. Lots of lots of small fish, but uh, come on, buddy. You've got to be careful with this size flathead. They really shake their heads fast, and they got they've still got those razor sharp gill rakers on either side. And once they hit you, wow, they do some damage. Well, mate, you just hooked him right on the edge. Thanks for coming out today. Brilliant. Good stuff, man. That was good fun. Next time we'll get out with you, we'll, uh, we'll catch some serious fish. Yeah. Some big fellas. That's good. Good on you. And for now, we just enjoy the sight of another lizard going Beautiful. back to breed some more. Good stuff. Every time you blast out into the ocean, even in a boat as seaworthy as a Quintrex Trident with its Millennium Blade hull, and even with the dependable grunt of a big Evinrude E-Tech with its three-year, 300-hour maintenance cycle, and especially with the advanced digital wizardry of a hummingbird underwater imaging and GPS wayfinding, with all that awesome boat building, boat driving and fish finding technology, the power you're really relying on is hidden away in a locker. To power all the electronics, well, just open the hatch, 
and you'll be able to see a couple of big centuries, the big 730s. And ideal, if you want to spend time out on the water, you need one to make sure that the motor's always going, and you need another one to make sure all your electronics are in great working order. And we've got plenty of electronics on here, including the cannon downrigger over that side. We've got the live bait tank, which is continually running. Obviously, we've got the hummingbird sounder, so plenty of electronics on the boat, powered by these beautiful Century batteries. Fantastic stuff, and built for Australian conditions. And I tell you what, when they're out on the water copping a pounding every day, you want to make sure you've got a really tough battery. Century batteries. When mum and dad split up... Wait, so you're not getting back together? <laughs> <laughs> Good God, no. Crazy moves in. Nathan, don't get mad at me, but I had to rinse my underwear out in the bathroom. <laughs> so don't get your panties in a wad when you find my panties in a wad. The Millers. Premieres 7 o'clock Sunday on 10. There's no engine in here. Because unexpected happens, Nimble do smart little loans from $100 to $1,200. You apply online and once approved, have the money within the hour. If you need money fast, go to nimble.com.au. When I found out I was pregnant, I thought it was time to quit. You know, I wanted to live longer, a longer life for my children. And hopefully I've quit smoking for life. To quit for new life, talk to your midwife. Foxtel is the home of better entertainment. Right now, sign up to Foxtel on a short six-month plan and for just $18 a week, you'll get the Essentials Pack. Plus your choice of one of our channel packs, sport or premium movies and drama or entertainment. And for a limited time, you'll get the first month free. The Essentials Pack has over 40 outstanding channels. Then choose one of the following packs. Premium movies and drama, including Showcase and the new Foxtel Movies Disney Channel. Entertainment with 28 channels or sport with 10 dedicated sports channels. Plus get Foxtel Go so you can watch shows when you're out. Plus Foxtel IQ so you can pause, record and rewind live TV. So get the Essentials Pack. Plus choose one of either premium movies and drama or entertainment or sport with Foxtel IQ and Foxtel Go. All for just $18 a week on a six month plan. And for a limited time, get your first month free. To experience better entertainment, call 1300 363 135. Tankworld are declaring Mother's Day a week early. Sunday, May the 4th is the mother of all tank sales. 5,000 gallons from 2367. And the mother load, up to 38% of the entire range of tanks and pumps. Mum's the word. Tankworld, 1800 68 69 70. It's the best thing ever at Parenthood. I can't imagine life without them. Every spare second seems to be swallowed up by something. I like to cook with the kids as much as possible. You have to be mindful of hygiene when you're cooking with meat. The Dettol No Touch is great because it helps avoid cross-contamination in the cooking process. I trust Dettol. We've ticked the hygiene box. We can't afford to get unwell. We don't have the time. <laughs> it's the little things we do that make up our mission for health. Sharing stuff is great, but you can't survive on funny videos alone. So share some KFC hot rods. Spicy crunchy chicken with a zesty lime aioli. Grab two for $2.95 today. I've changed a lot since winning goal, but keeping healthy and active is very important. So if tired aching legs or swollen feet and ankles slow you down, the Revitive Circulation Booster could be the drug-free health solution you need. And for a limited time, you could win a holiday staying at the beautiful Natanya Resort right on Queensland's iconic Noosa Beach. Simply buy a Revitive from these leading retailers and register your warranty to enter. Revive your day and escape to Noosa with Revitive. 7.30 Wednesday, the living room clutter buster special. Oprah's declutter expert faces his biggest job ever. There'll be tears, go away. tantrums, don't know what else to say to you. And life-changing transformations. The living room clutter buster special, 7.30 Wednesday. Fishermen aren't the only ones enjoying themselves on Lake Macquarie on the day of the Pertec Challenge. The Pertec Kid and his crew have moved off the flats and into deeper water, chasing our other target species of tailor and flathead, and casting out where other competitors are having success, we're soon in action too. Oh, yes. well, that was a good bite. Got him on ET. He's a nice tailor. Yeah. But he's uh, another target. This year's Challenge E2. Ah, oh, very good. Yeah, I've got one this year, eh? 
the surface. Good stuff. John's on fire. <laughs> Double hook up up this end too, ET. Oh, very good. Martin's on as well. Martin's got him on. So spot lock's on on the electric boy, so that'll just pull us around into the wind there. Yeah, so. perfect. So we've got the spot lock out of the Minn Kota. So basically, straight up to the satellite, keeps us in this position. And John's got a fish right beside the boat here. Oh, yeah, not a bad fish. Now, yeah, there's a mystery length as well, so it doesn't have to be the actual biggest tailor that comes in. The mystery length's a very good prize. Loads of incredible prizes in the Pertec Fishing Challenge. Oh, look at this one up the back here, Mark. Nice right? fish. That no, is a good a fish, good mate. I reckon Marty might have him dusted here. What do you think? Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got oh, him. another good fish. Woo. What do you reckon, mate? All right. The boys are on fire. <laughs> Let's get him tail around on that, so the longest part of his tail's in there. You happy there? That's it, got it. We've still got some squid left over from the wash, so we bait up with them and the results are instant. Wow. He's not a bad breed. Yeah, well, that's a nice fish. Just to go home. Just pull. Oh, another hit. I'm getting belted here. A bite? Yeah. Proper bite or what? Oh, a couple of good hard whacks. Oh, what was that? Oh, big leathery. That's what's munching our lines. Look at that fella. Big fan tail. Big fan tail, yep. I'll put a jig head on and just put this little bit of squid on. And that was what I caught. Big fantail leather jacket. Beautiful looking fish. I'm getting absolute hammered here again. There we go. You can see the big fan down the bottom. There's the spike on top of the head like all leather jackets. Beautiful fish. Their skin's just quite amazing. It really is just leathery. You can hardly pull your finger back against it. And this big beard that comes right down the bottom. I'll let him go. See you, mate. Oh! Oh, my lord. Oh, look at the size oh, of that. Lord. Holy hey. crap. Look at the size of that. The monster. But disappointment for one angler is about to turn into nice. big excitement for another. Very good. Flathead on the list. Nice. Take your time. You get all afternoon. <laughs> we want to see it. <laughs> Going well. Ooh, that's what we like to see. Ooh. This could be good. This could be a nice fish, I think. Good. Yeah, no, he's, he's got a bit of weight. Oh, what a head shake. Whoa, just stay connected. <laughs> Anywhere there's a nice reef edge, you always got a chance of catching a whole pile of different fish here. Lake Macquarie, it's just a... Oh, there's our prize winner too, mate. Let's have a look. What do we got? Yeah, nice bloody. Woohoo! All right. Ah, hey! hey. Well done. Well done, mate. <laughs> Sensational. Look at that. That's a cracker. Nice fish. Well, the Pertec Fishing Challenge, Guesty, we've had success again. Well, not so much us. <laughs> the competition winner, John, here. We've got John and Martin, and they're from Sydney. Keen fishers. And uh, John was bragging just earlier, just saying how he always catches a good fish. And I'll tell you what, about two minutes later, nice fish, mate. What do you reckon it's going to measure? I'll say 68, 69. 68? Oh, 68, 69. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> I, I reckon 67.4. Oh, God, good luck. <laughs> Important to get a photo on the brag, Matt. No worries, mate. And, and you've uh, got the angler's number there. So yeah, it's just 73 and a bit. But Yep, all good there. And, and one more just for good luck. You right, buddy? Yep, shoot. Zoom right in there. There you go. And we got 73.1. So there you go. We so. might get her in the, in the drink. And a big breeding female goes back to the wild to ensure there'll be plenty more fish to catch and release for the next Pertec Challenge and the next and the next. Check out leisuresales.com.au, the only website dedicated to buying and selling all your leisure items. From four-wheel drives and camper trailers, to boats, motorbikes, quads and everything else outdoors. Leisuresales.com.au
Get everything you like about this show, plus much more whenever you like at escapewithet.com. The online store has a fantastic range of fishing apparel, Mako sunglasses and adventure DVDs. The online magazine is packed with stories and photos, plus videos to view anytime. And you could even be on screen yourself as a winner of our Catch of the Week online competition. It's all free to members and membership is free at escapewithet.com. The murder of Jim Ma, the crime that shocked Australia. In a Studio 10 exclusive, her husband Tom breaks his silence. The accusations, the search, the killer. You won't believe the real story until you've heard it from him. 8.30 Monday morning. For a limited time, you could win a holiday staying at the beautiful Natanya Resort right on Queensland's iconic Noosa Beach. Simply buy a revitive from these leading retailers and register your warranty to enter. Revive your day and escape to Noosa with Revitive. My kids just go crazy at Easter. Chalky stains just don't come out with plain detergent, so I soak in vanish before washing. Well, I'm a cereal spiller. For coffee stains, washing powder just isn't enough. So I make a paste with vanish, then give it a wash. Too easy. It's vanished. Vanish removes stains that regular detergent alone can't. Visit the Tip Exchange to share your tips this Easter. At Cash Converters, people assess loan applications, not computers. And because people understand people, we're able to approve more loans than other short-term lenders. Apply online or in-store. This isn't just a puddle of water. Fingertips wrinkle and muscles ache here. So why come back? To beat your best time? Swim 2Ks? Or because it's not just whether you reach your personal best. It's whether they do. Synovus Women's Multi Plus Energy Boost. The goodness of a multi plus extra energy support. Because the better you are, the better they'll be. Synovus. Start something healthy. Oh, I love being a mum. I love it. You've entered into something that you have no idea about and the baby doesn't come with a manual, unfortunately. The first time I used Nurofen is when Olivia was three months old and she had a fever. Nurofen lasts a long time, which in the middle of the night is exactly what you want. The thing I love about Nurofen is the plastic syringy thingy, which makes it really easy to give to him. I would hands down recommend Nurofen for children to all my friends. Discover why mums are choosing Nurofen for children. Experience the perfect getaway in Gerringong. Gorgeous countryside, world-class walking trails and beautiful beaches. Gerringong's only 90 minutes from Sydney. It's an easy day trip or a great holiday destination. It's beautiful, it's near. Discover camping or cabins at the beach, a five-star resort or B&Bs and more. Seven Miles, the best learn to surf beach on the coast. So many fun things to do, plus excellent cafes with views. The coffee and shopping sensational. Gerringong for the perfect break. To vote for Lauren to win, call 19025554. If Rennell is your favourite, call 19025557. To give Jay the chance to win, call 19025513. Or if Michael is your favourite dancer, call 19025516. The lines are so open throughout the live grand final Thursday. So get voting for your favourite. The new Evinrude HO has done its job. Now it's my turn to get to work. Well, it's flathead time. Well, that's what we're hoping for anyway. I've got a beautiful little three to six kilo rod. It's sort of one of my favourite weight rods for the river systems and you can actually go out the front and catch some snapper with this as well. It's seven foot, which is perfect. It's matched up with a Stratic 2500, beautiful little Shimano reel. And I've got some four pound braid on there. I'm just going to put some 10 pound trace on, just over a metre of, of 10 pound. And we'll just attach that with a double uni. So nice and simple, you just cross the lines over. And now I'm going to wrap this line around the main line, around the, the, uh, the trace line, the 10 pound line, and through the hole. I'm just going to use my teeth very gently just to pull it through nice and tight. And you can see that tiny little knot in there. And that's one side done. And what's going to happen in the end, I'll do a knot with the mono, and the two knots will butt together. 
and that'll mean that it's not going to come undone, it's going to be nice and tight. Now you can see those two together there. Just fix it up. You can see the knot here. So I'll just snip it off nice and tight. And there we go. Now the reason we put the mono on, because it's a little bit tougher than the, the braid, especially if you're pulling it over oyster encrusted rocks, but it's, uh, it's also very difficult for the fish to see in the water. And we like to use 10 pound because it's got a little bit of abrasion, especially around the flathead's mouth where they've got these little tiny, tiny uh, teeth, which can rub back and forth. And if you're using something lighter, well, you know, if you've got a good fish on, you might end up losing him if he saws through the line. So basically, that's what we're looking at. I'm gonna do a little loop knot in the end, which is basically a little overhand knot. And then I'm going to tie that onto the jig head. And then I'm going to slide the line back through the hole. And pull that through. And now I'm going to wind the line around the main line four times. And go back through that hole. just snipping her off nice and close and what that does it gives maximum ability for the lure to work back and forth but I'll just uh, slide on one of these little atomic plazos just a little fella and there we have it that lure a go it'll sit like that on the bottom and then a couple of hops it'll hop up tail will wiggle hopefully attract a flathead. Little baby. Hey, uh. There's a little flatty. Only a little bloke. Thanks, mate. Uh, well, it's nice when a plan comes together. Would have been well, nice if we if we had a bigger fish. But yeah, that's all right. Anyway, a bit better. The net, mate. Oh, we well hooked or? Yeah, I think it's through the lip. Just... Mm. Another beautiful little flathead. There we go. Such a great fish. And as, as I said before, the way they, they lay down in the sand, very low profile. And they're laying their eyes up on top of their head. You can see all the mottled colourings on the body. Well, that's exactly what they'll be laying in down there. There'll be that mix of meat, weed and mud. But yeah, nice little fish. We'll put him back in. And that's the end of another big series of Escape with E.T. I hope you've had as much fun watching as we've had bringing great catches like these to your home screen. What an ordeal, eh? Woo! Going good. And I look forward to sharing more great hookups with you in the coming year. Till then, happy fishing, just like young Jack. Oh, that's great stuff. See a 13-year-old battle one of these all the way up.